whether you're a homeowner or a professional or want to be professional, uh, you may want to be putting in a drip system. And in this video, we're going to go over the basic components of a drip system. And then in future videos uh, coming up, I'll be going into more detail. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so that you can get those detailed videos in the future. This video is based on a set of articles that were published in a local newspaper called The Lorket Pioneer. I recently brought this series to life in video on this YouTube channel and have now added this one last finishing touch to the series. Okay, let's get started. H2O is water. What's H2O for? I'll give you the answer at the end of this brief video. I like to say water is water. It doesn't really matter how you get it there to the plants. There are several ways to get water to your landscape and your veggie garden, but drip systems have become a favorite for attempted water conservation efforts and avoiding weed promotion. Both can be accomplished if designed and installed properly. Due to limited time, this video will only cover the generalities of main components and some best practices. I will go into detail on drip systems in upcoming videos, so be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be informed when the new ones arrive. If you are on a well water, there are considerations before installing a drip system. I'll go into that in a future video as well. In most cases, the main components include a Y filter and a plastic pressure regulator installed in that order. A hose threaded connection is used to attach the tubing, which is uh, 700 to 710 <laughs> of an inch. Uh, basically, we call that a half inch tubing, uh, professional grade size. Adjustable emitters or drip sprays or a quarter inch dripper line that has emitters built in can be used. Avoid mixing these on the same line as they may require different watering times. The end of the tubing should include a figure eight crimp so the tubing can be flushed out occasionally. Metal jute staples or stakes are used to hold the tubing in place. I'll kick off the best practices portion here with a mantra of mine, which is the fewer parts, the better. With that in mind, I avoid using quarter inch tubing to the plants. I rarely use elbows and I install jute staples sparingly. Keep tubing away from growing plants and tree trunks as they will eventually swallow the tubing. Keep tubing on top of the soil and weed cloth for the same reason. Don't encircle plants and trees with the tubing. Keep it a straightish line. Avoid purchasing your materials at home centers and hardware stores. Instead, get them at landscape or irrigation supplies. There are reasons for all these that will be explained in upcoming drip system videos on this YouTube channel. Tubing laterals should not exceed 100 feet for half inch tubing and 20 feet for quarter inch tubing. For more explanation on these briefly touched on topics, view and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have questions on this matter, leave them in the comments section below and I will try to answer it or see about creating a video on that subject soon. I hope this Anatomy 101 of a Sprinkler System series has been a help. Hey, I just happen to have a free download that can help you with all this. This is the one I told you about at the beginning of the video. This download has photos of most of the common drip system components mentioned in this video. Just click down below to claim it and begin making your life a lot easier. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If so, please like it, share it, and subscribe to this channel, and click the notification bell to stay up to date with all these helpful videos and downloads. If you missed the previous videos in this fun series, be sure to start with Anatomy 101 of a Sprinkler System, the water meter. Here's the answer to that riddle I presented at the beginning of the video, which was, H2O is water. What is H2O for? Answer? drinking and swimming, and irrigating your plants. I hope you had fun with this uh, video series, and we'll see you on the next video.